Hey everyone, I'm going to use this video to show you how I made a heat pipe and heat exchanger out of some copper pipe. Um, I'll take you through the steps and some of the thinking. Hope you enjoy the video and please come back to me with any comments or feedback. Okay, so we've got our eight reducer tees. The problem we've got with these, we've just got a little scrap bit of metal, is that when you put in the copper pipe, it basically gets tripped out on a lip that's inside so we need to file those away so that we can get the pipe all the way through so we'll just take a, a normal metal file and give it a file Okay, so we've done a bit more filing. Um, we've now got our producer um, filed out inside, so now we can get a, a pipe um, in a little bit, and it will basically feed all the way through. And when, we, when we're going to put it, just put a longer bit of pipe all the way through, and through two of them, and then we have, ultimately we'll have a pipe passing all the way through the top, all the way through the bottom, and we'll make this piece the heat pipe, and the water will flow through and exchange the heat there. Okay, we've got our filed these two reducer tees down so that the pipes fit through. Next up, to give you an idea of, of where we're headed, um, we're going to take these um, and we're going to fit them on to our pipe. So now, obviously, they slice straight through. Um, we're going to cut bit 22 as well to fit over them. But effectively, you kind of get the idea is that effectively we're going to have water coming in here, flowing up here inside another piece of um, 22 and then coming back out and this this longer one and a half um, meter piece of 15 mil pipe is going to be a heat pipe and we'll, we'll get on to making that in a second. Okay, so this is um, just a bit of 22 that we've got lying around. Um, I wanna try and make four of these of these peak pipes so that we can check them out. So this is 84 um, centimeters. So we're looking at 21 um, centimeters um, a sectional, let's just call it, let's just call it 20. Um, so we'll mark that up and get and get that cut. Um, some standard stuff with cutters and everything else, right? Just do your cutter, put it on your mark, line it up. Um, and we're not, we don't have to be massively accurate here. And then obviously just um, spin through and I've got it on, right? And then we just spin to cut. I don't think you guys really need to know how to how to do that, and we're we're done. And then we just obviously need to make sure that we um, debar it out. So yeah, just get our cleaner, bar it out both ends. And this is, a, is an old bit twenty two, but it, it's pretty clean. And then then we're then we're good to go. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got a bit of twenty two. Pretty obvious, all slots together, and then we're going to slide it on our on our 15 mil. So um, now you get a, a better idea of what it is what we're we're trying to do. Um, kind of looking at that um, again, it's not massively scientific. Is that it? Kind of looks pretty big actually in terms of the the coupling, but in terms of the size of this to the the one and a half meters. But let's go with that, right? If you guys have any thoughts as to whether or not it should be longer or shorter, let me know. Originally, when I was thinking about this, I actually thought about making the whole of the 22 mil um, piece the heat pipe and actually having the water flowing through the 15 um, but then I thought maybe I'd just turn that on its head and have the heat pipe as the 15 and the exchanger going through the 22 um, but yeah let's 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 concentrate on the exchanger now 